In this video, I'll take you through how I raw process images using Capture One. The image you see on the screen now is the processed image. Let me take you through before and after. So this is after, this is before. If I put it side by side, you see the difference. This is before and this is after. My name is Kwe Kwaye and this is Ghana Near Photography. I will clone this image and we will reset it so that we will go through the whole process together. So first of all, I shoot all my images in RAW. There are so many advantages of shooting RAW. So when you shoot RAW, you have all the details captured and you'll be able to tweak them how you want. So the first thing I do is I look at the histogram. This image straight out of camera already looks good because this has no adjustments applied to it. If you, if you remember, we reset this image and if you look at the sliders here, everything is um, set to the default. Now looking at the histogram, we can see the image is uh, quite well exposed. We just need to do some um, few adjustments. So the first thing I do is look at the white balance. The white balance kind of looks okay to me, but I most likely go to um, daylight to you know get it something close to that. Either that or I go to um, 5300 or 5600 that's close to daylight that also depends on uh, the camera used with this i suspect is the canon r5 or r6 let's um, take a look at it and see okay so this is the canon eos r6 i was almost right so the first thing i do is check the white balance then the second thing is the exposure this image, as I said, it already looks um, well exposed. So we may just um, add some few things. So I'll leave that for now and then go on with a high dynamic range. For that, I want to recover some of the details in the sky. So let's um, reduce. If you go all the way, see, it reduces the, 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 uh, it reduces the brightness in the sky. If you go all the way here, it makes it too bright. So just, um, let's say 50. Um, let me just type it here. 50 looks good because I have recovered some of the details in the sky and then on her cloth as well. Aside that, with levels, what I do is I click on auto to, you know, auto adjust it and it does the work correctly most of the time. So if you look at the histogram now, it has balanced all the edges here. So that already works well. Now for curves, I prefer using the Luma because that only changes the luminosity. It doesn't uh, affect the colors. So with that, I just give it a slight S curve here just to give it that contrast. So, so far, let's look at our image before and after. This is after, this is before, after and before. So you see, we've added some, you know, vibrance to the image. So with that done, I hardly do color works before retouching. So I'll retouch after retouching, then I do the color works. I don't usually call it color grading because it sounds too, um, too intimidating. So I just call it color works because I do a couple of um, color works. That's um, my reason. So here I'll go back to the exposure and I would want to brighten this image up a bit. So if we go too high, this is what we get. So we just come somewhere here and then uh, brighten it up. She's uh, light skinned. So I'll just complement it by adding a little bit of exposure just to make it look good. So if we go to um, before and after, before, after, I um, realize our image has, um, has popped up. Now, if we come back to our histogram and we look at it, you see it's clipping at this side. If you look at the levels, it's clipping here also. So you can either hold this and then bring it back just so that if you look at the histogram, it balances up there. Or you can just click on auto and it will do the job for you. Now, sometimes I use um, this uh, mid-tone slider if I want to brighten the mid-tone. So negative positive so you just need to find a balance you don't necessarily need to use it i'm just showing you how it works so far our image is looking good and there isn't really much to be done here anymore back in the days i used to use this clarity thing now let me zoom in so you see what a clarity does 
here if you go up like this see it adds detail to the image i was using the negative clarity to soften the image why because i use the nikon camera canon and sony tend to soften the image a bit but nikon cameras um, usually have this extra sharpness even though i i reduce the sharpness in the settings of the camera but it, it, it has this um, sharpness so it will make the pause and um, other things stand out so with that i was using the negative clarity to soften the image a bit but i have stopped using it i do that in um, photoshop when retouching so i don't touch anything here anymore so these are the basic sliders i use for my raw processing this is a basic raw processing because if we want to go much into details we will have to do some color works we would have to do some skin tone um, correction which in this case is not needed because it's only her face that's showing and then we may have to add some adjustments and um, all that this is just something basic in subsequent videos i'll take you through much more advanced raw processing in capture one don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thank you for watching